Hi everyone and welcome to this Excel Tips video on how to use a drop down to switch between charts. This is the first video in our Excel Charts video series. So do stay tuned for some more Excel chart videos. So let us look at our problem statement. Here we have a table which we are representing as multiple charts here which is taking up a lot of space we will look to change this to this where we can select the chart based on the value that we have selected in the drop down so we will start with creating the drop down that we saw here so creating a drop down is pretty easy so we will go here go to data and click on data validation allow list and my source would be the columns or the players that we have here and when we do that we will just see that it has created the drop down this is a plain drop down not a combo box or anything like that just a plain simple drop down that you get in data next we will be using a helper column so we will use this column as a helper column so we will say the first formula that we will be using is a match formula which will tell my formula that which column to select from these three based on my drop down value we will be using match i will look this value up and in this array and i want a exact match now because i would be dragging this down let me first press f4 to fix this fix the cell reference here and we are good so now we will just see is that if i change the drop down value this value is changing so this tells me which column or which column to refer to now comes the second part we will use the offset formula we will write the offset formula outside this we will just say equal to offset i want to offset this value by the match value in the columns i will just say offset b2 comma leave the rows blank and have the match formula give me the column and i'll just say there as you can see i have selected player 3 it is giving me 70.47 let us now see player 1 if it gives me 54.17 and it does now there is nothing more to do simply drag this and we are done and it should change so now comes the charting part so we will just go select a bar chart there you go keep it here and i will select the data my helper row as my data and that's it so as you can see it has already plotted it i will remove the chart title for now i will come back to it later i just wanted my labels to be to represent my the years so which can be done easily by just selecting the this and we have the years now okay so now let us see if i switch between players does my chart get updated dynamically and you as you can see it does because it is driven by this column the other thing that you should notice is that sometimes the axis is changing when i'm switching between players in order to fix that you can just go find out what is the highest value here which i can see is 133 here go to format axis yeah and change the maximum value to a little more than what is here so it's 133 i'll make it as 140 and when i do so when i switch between players my axis remains 
the same. So we now have this graph, but it does not look like what we had here earlier. So in order to do that, we will add a few tricks. The first is we will hide the helper column. By hiding it, I will just make its font as white. So it is still there. In order to make our charts a little more interesting and to for it to stand out, I would suggest you click on the charts, go to the design and choose one of the many pre-built formats that are there. So for example, if I choose this one, it looks like this and we are done. So we have successfully created a chart which is dynamically selected based on the drop down values that is selected here. So do click the like button if this video was useful to you and thank you and have a wonderful day.